What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are in video three of our series of the Open Water Diver Program skills. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at all the math skills that you're going to learn during your program. Now please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series for you to go out and dive. Make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI Open Water Scuba Instructor. So with with that being said, let's jump into today's math skills. All right, so we are going to start with a partial flood and clear, and this is a great skill that you can do to simply defog your mask underwater. We're going to simply flood it from the top, and you don't want to have to let a lot in, just a little bit of water there to where it's about partially flooded. You can still breathe even if there's water in your mask, and of course, we're going to lean our head back, press in at the top, and exhale through our nose to clear the mask. Now, we are going to build off this skill, so the next time you, you see me do this, we are going to completely flood the mass. That means we're going to take water all the way up to the top. And of course, this is going to allow us to acclimate to the water temperature prior to taking our mask on and off. As a, you can see, I'm flooding it from the top until the mask is completely full. And then of course, lean my head back, pressing at the top of the mask and simply exhale through my nose and it will clear. Now to continue to build off this, we're going to simply remove and replace our mask. And just like we did in the previous skill, we are going to completely flood it to allow our face to acclimate to the temperature of the water prior to taking the mask off. As we flood it, once again, we are going to be flooding it from the top of the mask till the mask is full, and then we're going to secure the mask. I personally like to hold it with my left hand and then remove it while I put the strap around my left hand as well to secure it. I'm going to orient the mask properly by making sure that nose piece recovers up my nose, making sure there's nothing within the skirt or anything that can get entangled. I'm going to simply replace the mask, adjust it, and then once again, I'm going to lean my head back, press in at the top of the mask, and exhale through my nose to clear it. Now, the last skill that we're going to do is a no mass swim. We're just simply building off all the other skills that we have learned. We're going to simply flood the mask from the top and remove the mask, making sure that we secure it and not lose it. And then once I have it off, I can simply swim a certain distance and just relax. Now, if you have contacts, I would suggest doing this skill with your eyes shut. Uh, however, if you don't have contacts, I would encourage you to open your eyes because you can still see. You may not be able to focus clearly, but you can still see in the direction that you're going. Obviously, if you're ever swimming without a mask, it's probably due to the fact that you had a mass failure and you're making a slow, safe ascent to the surface. But as you can see here, as I come back up to the camera, I'm still breathing normally, even without a mask on. I'm going to reorient that mask, place it back on my face, get it adjusted, and then clear it just like I've done before. Lean my head back, press in, and exhale through my nose. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for video three in this series of the SSI Open Water Diver Program skills. And as I stated before, please do not use this video or any of the videos in this series to go out and scuba dive. Please make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI Open Water Diver instructor. Now, do stay tuned for video four in this series where we're going to be looking at equipment checks and equipment failures and how you actually deal with them underwater. But until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.